The product of a successful CI-CD pipeline is a software artifact like a Java jar file or a node package. From Maven to Artifactory, there are many software repositories to choose from. But if you're using Azure, the destination for your built software will be the Azure Artifact Repository. Here's how to use it. To get started with Azure Artifacts, you'll need to create a new project in the DevOps dashboard. I'm going to create one named My Artifacts Example. Then click on the Artifacts link and choose Connect to Feed. Then select the type of project you wish to push to your Azure Artifacts repository. I want to push a node-based React app, so I'm going to click on the NPM option. The page will then display information on how to connect a local node app to the Azure repo. I need a node-based app to push, so I'm going to quickly create a React app by using the npx create react app command. I'm going to call my app my scrumptious components. With the project created, you can test the React app by issuing the npm start command. Here you can see it running. Next, we will need to install the software required to connect our React app to the repo. To do this, we will simply copy the npm install command listed in the get the tools window and issue it in the root of the project. You will also notice the project needs a file named npmrc. I'll create that with the touch command. Notice the npmrc gets created here. Copy the registry location into the npmrc file. Then, run the vsts command to have your authentication token added to your local environment. Then run the npm install command and make sure all of the required software is installed correctly. To push the React app to the repo, we can run the npm publish command. Although we do need to make one change to our package.json file, we need to change the visibility from private to public. Then we will issue the npm publish command. And when we come back to the Azure artifacts, you will see that my scrumptious components project has been successfully uploaded. And that's how you work with the Azure artifacts.